Weekly Outdoor Plus is a new and exciting outdoor show right here on Fox 55 WFXS, now on at 9.30 a.m. Sunday mornings, presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, starring new owner Gary Hintz. His youngest son, the show pro, Jace Hintz. And the show producer, creator, and host, his oldest son, Seth Hintz. So now sit back and relax and get ready to learn about archery and the world of the outdoors. Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Weekly Outdoor Plus. Like I mentioned last week, we're down in central Illinois right now, beginning our bow hunt down here, which uh, usually turns out to be pretty prime for us. And uh, we got here a couple days ago, and I put up this, my Big Racks trophy camera right here on this giant scrape, because we were walking in here uh, to hunt the very first day, and we walked in and there's about three or four scrapes on the scrape line. So we come around the corner, and there's this big, probably about nine feet wide here you can see and it's just torn up by these bucks they got they've got it all scratched up down here there's fresh deer droppings all around it and you can even see something has been here recently because there's branches are freshly broken I've had this camera up here for probably three days now I believe and so I'm just hoping to find some any deer pictures on it really being that this is our first time down here this year to do some hunting uh, there are a few fresh tracks here since I put it up so I know there's going to be something on there, which gets me pretty excited. One of the things that I really like about these Big Rack Trophy cameras is that I can set them on video intervals, which for what we're doing is awesome. I'm going to pop this thing open here and see what we got. And because I did have it set on video, I mean, hopefully it didn't get all these branches kind of bouncing up and down or anything like that. And one of the other nice things is I get to show you guys what I have here which is 90 videos in two and a half days. Kind of, I don't know, made me feel like uh, this was a good spot to put it because the bucks right now, they're not really chasing does yet. Some of the smaller ones are, but the bigger ones and pretty much all bucks are making their rounds to these scrapes and that. And being that this is one of the, one of the bigger ones that we have in the area, this is a really good spot for us to put up our camera. So let's take a look at what we got. Of our 90 pictures, being that we put them on a scrape, majority of them were actually bucks. We did have a few does and fawns pass through because there's obviously a main trail going by there as well, and a couple raccoons that seem to be using it too, but majority of the pictures were bucks, and we had 8 or 9 different bucks that we know of. The first night there, these three bucks are there all at the same time, and while they take their turns making their mark on the scrape, the others stand back and fight in the background. And of all the bucks, there were two or three that were very good bucks that we're looking forward to seeing in the fall here. This one in particular really caught our eye. He's a mainframe 15 point with split G2s and G3s on one side and a whole bunch of stickers on his brow tines. This is the guy that everybody's really looking for. And thanks to Big Rack's trophy cameras, we know that he's on our property and look forward to hunting for him during the rut this fall. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proudly family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs and we specialize in a wide variety of products. Meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. 
Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I saw bucks on camera I never knew I had. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, or realdealmineral.com. Cars are more than just metal. They're our best friend, and our best friend's best friend. They're our chariots and our workhorses. They make us feel alive, and they put us to sleep. They make us laugh, and they make us proud. So when something happens to them, something happens to us. From dents and scratches to glass and collision repair, CarStar Auto Body Repair experts do it all. So you can drive away happy. Ask your insurer for CarStar. Relax. We'll take it from here. So check out your local Pat's Car Star Auto Body in Plover the next time you need help. Before experiencing it, you won't know dependability. Unless you've drawn it, you haven't felt smooth. Until you shoot it, you've yet to be this accurate. The Matthews Creed. Available at Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Hey guys, Jace Hintz here with your uh, weekly tip for uh, Weekly Outdoor Plus. Uh, I'm going to be going over basically different things over the next couple weeks of what will help you tighten up your group um, from everything to equipment to what actually uh, you're doing possibly wrong or a combination of both. So when you have a troubleshooting issue where you know for some reason your groupers are wide or really small and you want to figure out why this is happening to make them better or worse or whatever you can easily figure it out just by a couple little tips um, of what I would go through first basically when you're first setting up your bow and how from there on and there forth how you can even fine tune it once you have it fully set up. Uh, the first thing I always do whether I'm hunting or in tournaments is I obviously have to pick out an arrow. That's probably the biggest thing in my opinion on getting your group as tight as you can and you can ask any tournament archer you know they're going to probably agree with me in that exact same thing where if you have a good arrow you can get away with a lot of different things just by having bad shots that'll be better because your arrow's flying exactly true. Um, by arrow selection, um, I'm talking there's a lot of different spines of your arrow is the first thing. Like right now we mostly shoot Carbon Express. They got a 150, 250, and 350s and I believe they actually have 450s in some types. Uh, most of that is basically just the stiffness of your wall, uh, how thick it's going to be. And uh, like I shoot 60 pounds so I shoot a 250, uh, 70 pounds would shoot a 350 and on, obviously up and down you go 150 and 450 depending on the weight you're shooting. Um, the weight is a big part in when you're picking it all up, but uh, one thing also that's going to make a really big difference is your draw length, where if you're shooting a really short draw length at, you know, 70 pounds, you don't want to cut your arrow all the way down if you're shooting a 350, because the shorter you cut it, the less it's going to flex, the less it's going to bend, and that's, a, again, that's your stiffness, that's your spine of your arrow. You have to find the happy medium that'll make it so it'll still flex, but not too much and not be perfectly stiff. That's why they have the 250s, 350s, 450s, we don't all shoot the exact same arrow depending on your draw length, how long you cut them, and uh, your pounds. That's all that's going to make a difference. Um, the next thing you want to look over at your arrow, 90% um, of the people I know that hunt and shoot competition right now are shooting blazers. Um, blazers were basically created for broadheads because you can see how tall they are from the shaft. The taller they are from the shaft, the bigger the distance is going to also steer the front of your arrow better. So when you're shooting broadheads, this definitely helps you out big time. Uh, the only time that these aren't going to be very beneficial for you is on well days like today when it's super windy and you're not shooting a broadhead because the more wind it is, obviously you got more uh, object here to catch the wind and that's not good either. So if you're shooting more tournaments and stuff like that, I recommend a little bit flatter um, fletching just to keep it closer to your shaft, pick up less wind. Uh, we shoot a lot of like flex, flex fletch and things along that line, uh, some ACE and stuff like that. They got really short ones and that right there will help out as well in the wind. But for steering your broadhead, blazers are very nice um, or feathers, but feathers again in the wind are, are going to be a little bit louder and uh, they're also, if they get wet, they're going to shrink down. So that's really going to hurt in the long run. But uh, yeah, we also have a program at Bucks and Bulls. It's called Archer's Advantage and we can uh, set that up for your bow setup exactly how you have it set up and we can set it up and it'll tell you, suggest what arrows you need, 
what length you need them cut at, what weight tip you need in the front because the weight of your tip will also affect it. But the shaft length is going to be the biggest difference where you really need to make sure you don't cut it too short or leave it too long where it's going to be super flexible or not or too stiff all right so go over those little things on your arrows see if they're good enough for you or if we can help you out make them you know a little bit more fine-tuned for your setup and your bowl um, if you have any questions again stop into bucks and bulls or check us out on weekly outdoor plus uh, on youtube and otherwise i'll see you guys next week we'll have some more uh, different ideas of how you can get your group a lot tighter all right, now it's time for one of our more exciting segments here on Weekly Outdoor Plus. It's where we get to keep our fans connected with the show. Don't forget, you can send in your pictures to weeklyoutdoorplus at live.com or link them up to us on Facebook to get in this segment of our show. Each week as Sopa Cellular makes it extremely easy for you to capture these photos and then send and share them around effortlessly. Our first picture this week comes from one of my good friends up in Monaco who works on the golf course who wanted to share this picture of how much snow they got with us. And here's one Lucas Elliott sent me of a giant mule deer his uncle shot this past year. And here's one from Matt who's excited to have snow build up on his pants already and it's only October. And this one comes from one of our friends at Bucks and Bulls Archery who brought in this trail cam picture who he's hoping to catch this fall. And this one comes from Lucas Malik who carved his pumpkin this year into this nice buck. And here's one that comes from Frank Minervini who was able to bag two does this year on his first time going out archery hunting. You all remember the youth banquet that we had been advertising for? Well, here's Jaron Ostrowski, who was lucky enough to win the brand new Mission Craze Bow. And our last one this week comes from Ryan Langman, who dropped this giant 10-pointer just last week. So stop on down to Sopa Cellular today and check out all their great deals. And stay tuned for more Weekly Outdoor Plus action. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village, right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable, unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone, with hundreds to choose from. So they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Cars are more than just metal. They're our best friend, and our best friend's best friend. They're our chariots and our workhorses. They make us feel alive, and they put us to sleep. They make us laugh, and they make us proud. So when something happens to them, something happens to us. From dents and scratches to glass and collision repair, CarStar Auto Body Repair experts do it all. So you can drive away happy. Ask your insurer for CarStar. Relax, we'll take it from here. So check out your local Pat's CarStar Auto Body in Plover the next time you need help. It's summertime and the living's easy. If you start all your projects here at Frank's Hardware on Highway 10 in Stevens Point. From seeds to irrigation and endless lawn and garden tools, we have it all, so you can get your work done and enjoy it this summer. We also do screen repair, lawnmower blade and knife sharpening, and offer the supplies to put in your own well, including equipment rental. And while you're here, pick up your seed and sets in bulk, so you always have the right amount. So make us your lawn and garden headquarters this summer. That's Frank's Hard Rock, Highway 10 at Stevens Point. See you soon. Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point is now under new ownership and has a new location. Stop down to 3272 Church Street and meet the new owner, Gary Hanks. His fully stocked pro shop carries Matthews, Hoyt, and many more products to serve all your needs. They also do all repairs for any style and full customizations. Leagues and lessons will begin soon, so stop in today and check out what's new, because we're confident that we can get you from in here to out there. Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. This week at Bucks and Bulls Archery, what's new is we got all of our mission bows in, plus the crossbows. And what we always, we've always had these crazed bows here, but now they came in a bunch of new different color packages. And these bows are, I think they named it crazed because they're crazy about the adjustments from the draw weight, draw length. They can fit a five-year-old all the way up to 
an adult shooting 70 pound bow. But the exciting thing is all the new color phases that they came out with. They came out with a new ballistic, they call it the Blaze. It's kind of an off set of the ballistic bow. They all come in different color packages. They all come in camouflage. And this one here is the new Mission Ladies bow. It's called the Flare. It does come in other colors. I just ordered a pink one because pink is quite popular this time. Everybody likes pink. They got black with pink strings. Um, I guess what I'd probably suggest if you guys are interested in looking at these bows or shooting them, just come on in and try them out and see what you think. And we still have the Mission crossbows. It's a 320 and a 360. The 320 means it's 320 feet per second, or 360 is 360 feet per second. All these bows are made by Matthews, the world's largest archery company. Um, they're, it's a great company to work with. They're a wonderful Wisconsin company. One thing I'd like to show you is all of these mission bows come with, either with or without a package. They come with a sight, a rest, a quiver. If you want a package, they're pretty good priced packages. If you add it up, you save a lot of money doing a package. Otherwise, you can get just a plain bowl and put on whatever you want on it. Um, we're, they're a great Christmas present. We got gift cards here to sell. If you want to do a gift card, you can come in here and check them out for gifts for kids or adults or anybody. But I think start thinking about Christmas shopping. Another thing we have here at Bucks and Bulls Archery now, I just became a Yeti cooler dealer. I'm really excited about it. I guarantee it'd be the last cooler you'd ever buy. They are a little bit costly, but they're well worth the money. If you come in, we'll tell you a little story about while we were alligator hunting in Florida. We hunted for a whole week, 100 degree weather, and we'll tell you how these things work. Um, that'd be a great Christmas present too. Uh, any camper, hunter, fisherman that spends any time outdoors would really enjoy a Yeti cooler. Just recently, we got a shipment of the 2014 Prime bows. We got all the, the whole line of bows now here for Prime. It's, I don't know if you're familiar with a prime bow or not, but if you come in, we'll tell you the details and we'll let you shoot them. Along with the Hoyt, all the 2014 Hoyt bows we ordered, they're on their way. And um, like mid-November, the new Matthews bows will start showing up at the door. So it's kind of an exciting time of year. You can come in, look at all the new stuff and get ready for Christmas and come on in and shoot them. Before experiencing it, you won't know dependability unless you've drawn it. You haven't felt smooth until you shoot it. You've yet to be this accurate. The Matthews Creed. Available at Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proud of family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs, and we specialize in a wide variety of products, meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, but we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I had over a thousand pictures on my trail cameras in less than a week. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point or realdealmineral.com. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone with hundreds to choose from so they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Well, after that nice, long, exciting weekend down in Illinois and seeing that big buck we had on camera, you know, we didn't really see a lot of deer out of the tree, but that's kind of part of hunting is getting out there early and scouting out and getting ideas of what kind of property or what kind of deer we have on our property. And 
Right now I'm back up in Almond here, where uh, last week we started out a hunt with me and Matt, and we're going for the double kill there, so we're gonna jump into that here in a little bit, but on the way in I found a couple of scrapes here, which I actually wanted to kind of touch base on. I, as I walked in, there was two or three of them that were just freshly rubbed up today, um, with some fresh droppings actually. And then I got back here to this ridge I'm sitting on, and there's another scrape here that I put my trail camera on, and it hadn't been touched yet, so that's a pretty good idea to me that there's been a buck around here today, and he hasn't really been in this general area yet, so I'm actually gonna grunt a little bit. It's really early, I had to do a little work here, so I'm gonna blast a few grunts, and maybe I can get this guy to walk by me. But stick around, because we got Matt and Seth's hunt from last week where they go for that double kill on those does. And so right away we jump into Seth and Matt's hunt from last week where they have deer all around them. After getting excited to shoot this first doe, her and her fawns take off unexpectedly, not giving Seth or Matt a chance this first time around. but it's not long before some more deer come walking right in. And then this group of three good sized does come in and one of them's a little bit bigger than the other two so Seth sets his sights on that one. So with one doe on the ground and a few deer in every direction, it's now time for Matt to see if we can get one more doe tonight and complete the double kill. Just got a double here. Wow. 
how awesome is that? It's always nice when, after I get to shoot something, to give the cameraman a turn there. And we were just lucky enough that we saw so many deer that night, and it's, it was very early in the season. Made it easy for us, you know, to take a few does. Uh, we did see the small buck chasing a doe, but they ran by so fast. So, um, like I said earlier, now I'm sitting back up here in the same spot, actually. And there's been some, some good buck sign around here, so I got a pretty good feeling about tonight. We had a little bit of snow flurries on the way in here, too. So it's always exciting in October. Being the beautiful October night that it was, things were not as hopping as they were when Seth and Matt were out a couple weeks ago. But after sitting for a while, it's usually those nights when you're not seeing any deer that a buck shows up out of nowhere. which is exactly what happened to Seth tonight. Unfortunately, the buck didn't have much size, so Seth was gonna pass this one up and hopefully wait for another one. But this is the only deer that Seth sees tonight, but that's okay because it's a buck, which tells him that they're finally starting to move a little bit earlier and is really getting us excited for this upcoming fall. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Weekly Outdoor Plus presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Don't forget to check us out online at facebook.com slash weeklyoutdoorplus. See you next week. Before experiencing it, you won't know dependability unless you've drawn it. You haven't felt smooth until you shoot it. You've yet to be this accurate. The Matthews Creed, available at Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin.